Okay, wait, it went in one. Yeah, click. So if it, if it, you gotta keep spinning it. I can, I can tell just by eyeballing down the edge here, it's not all the way in. There. All right, guys, here we are back with Project Rocky. So we're over at Joe's shop. We got our motor put together. We're gonna kind of go over it, add the transmission, and uh, let's get some info. So as Chris said, this is a Summit Racing um, SUM. The part number is SUM-150153. It's a 5.3 liter, it's 450 horsepower. Um, it was a long block, so once we uh, uncrated the motor, basically we put a Melling M295 oil pump on it. We put a Summit oil pan kit, came with everything we needed. Uh, flipped the motor over, and then we started bolting on our accessories. We got Summit manifolds. We got all low car accessories, vintage LS series. Yeah, the LS Classic. LS it's Classic LS series. LS Classic series. And it says it right on the valve cover. Yeah, so. this is a vintage valve covers. We'll end up uh, powder coating these valve covers and then polishing probably the LS Classic logo, or maybe mm -hmm. even get a Project Rocky logo for right there. That might be kind of cool, but. Yeah, being a long block, there wasn't a whole lot we needed to do as far as getting the motor prepped. Um, we got we have our uh, timing chain cover, installed the, uh, the gasket in the front there. Uh, the, the rear timing chain cover was already, or the rear cover was already on with the gasket installed, so we didn't even have to do that, so. Yep. So the one thing that we did learn and we kind of keep in mind, actually I learned, they already knew. So the, the F-body water pump, and we're going to need to get the, uh, the, the correct balancer. So correct, that's why yeah. we haven't we So haven't we had a truck balancer yet. with an F-body water pump. Yep. So we need a F-body balancer to go with our F-body water pump. But that really won't stop us from moving forward with what we want to do right now. So let's get this transmission going. Okay, we did it. We got all the transmission parts here. We even drug Rusty all the way down here to talk about all the parts and pieces for us. As you know, 4L60E, 5.3 liter Summit Racing, two wheel drive, lifted square body Chevy. So that's the project. This is the plan. Let's go over the parts and pieces. Rusty, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tell us about it. Well, uh, Chris, it's great. Uh, thanks for having me here. Yes, sir. Um, we can start with the transmission itself. It's three fighters, uh, model 4L60E. Uh, rated for 500 foot pounds of torque, um, ready for, and it worked perfect for your application actually, uh, behind that engine and that truck, this is really going to be a nice, sweet yeah. driving package. Yeah. Uh, to complement that, we have the torque converter, um, the uh, breakaway torque converter, which is going to work well with your, uh, with your combination, your gearing, and what you're trying to do with this truck. Um, you know, to, along with that, we have the flex plate. We also supply in the package the transmission cooler kit and uh, the dipstick and um, with fluid, the fluid's there as well. That's part of our, our package. This is actually the P2 package. Okay. Um, it's, in addition to that, we, we include a flex plate. You can get the flex plate, it's not part of the package, but it's something we offer to help you know, mate everything up. Yeah, you, you, you got the engine, you got the trans, you need a flex plate in between them. Yeah. So we can supply you that. We have transmission mount and uh, cross member. The transmission, does it come in a five speed? No, we only, uh, TCI only does automatic. Really? So okay, yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, very At this cool. point, yeah, yep. That's we don't cool. have a manual option. That's awesome. So, automatic transmission, daily driven, lifted two wheel drive square by. This is going to be a really fun truck. It's going to be at SEMA, which is going to be great. We're going to have a rolling chassis with a drivetrain in it by the end of the day. So, we're excited about it. Let's get it going. Damn, how many horsepower that thing got? You want me to put a tire underneath it? Yeah. Okay, here we go.
running across and take a measure from here to here. Right, so what, what I would do is show the, looking at the side towards the transmission and of course you're trading off of here. And off to here, what we want to know. And then we're going to do the same thing from from here to the front of the converter. Right? Exactly, exactly. So we'll show that, that tune and that, and then we should be able to know if we have our 8 to 3 That's important. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. We can mention we'll put the transmission fluid on this O-ring. Before you put that together, put a little bit of fluid in it to like Those you talked about. Not all flywheels are marked like that. We need to either well, that if it's in that last, it, you know, this dish, right? So it'll be... Right. So stuff, I think there's actually a free plug in there, but that would know. Yeah, you can actually see Yeah, you can all see the, the, the whole threads in there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, some people might have what they think is a rear main seal, but it's not. Need a torque wrench, maybe? Uh, so check this out. ARP, we're using their flywheel bolts. Tells you exactly what pound footage to torque them to. And it even comes with a uh, Loctite lubricant. So we'll put that on there. We don't worry about them leaking. Yeah, here. I'm telling you. Put a little bit, it, it makes a big mess. Here, I'll let you make a mess. Okay. Let me get it right. But on the back side of the head, too, right? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit on that shoulder. Oh, sorry. Right. I'm gonna go get a, um, a socket. So that probably be good right there. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's probably gonna want to swing on it. Oh, I see. Put a wedge against there. Oh, okay. Alright. So, what a trick I'll show you is if you look at this hole, see, here's the three torque converter holes, alright? If you'll notice, that one's shaped different than these two. So ideally, if you line this up, usually like you to point out before the, the starter hole. Yes. So if you put this over here, you can actually put that bolt in tight, and these two will line up. Yeah. And then measure right to your bell housing flange, and that's right at seven eighths of an inch in this case. And then the tape measure is close there? enough. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead, put that up there. Great view. Can you see it there? Yeah. Seven eighths of an inch. Yeah. Okay, All right. So keep it, it from hanging up when you're trying to put the converter in there. Be careful that O-ring is important. Yeah. Okay. One sixteenth is good. One sixteenth is tight because as converters will, you know, they do balloon. I mean, they can push, start pushing against the crankshaft. Yeah. So they got. Yep. Some lube in there. So we're going to go. That's probably fine. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. What's this? Is this uh oh this is the Max Shift 3 from mm -hmm. TCI? Oh nice, automatic transmission fluid. And this it says race, but daily driver transmission sure. fluid? Yeah. Yeah, it's good fluid. Good stuff. Nice, alright. Okay, wait, yeah, there, there went in one. Yeah, click. So if it if it, you gotta keep spinning it. I can I can tell this by eyeballing down the edge here. It's not all the way in. There. Because we're only uh, five eighths of an inch. Yeah. So, that so we were seven eighths. Two eighths. We're seven eighths here. So we're quarter inch. We're no, we're we're uh, yeah, almost quarter inch. Yeah. So, so we need to spin so this more. So that's so a good reason why yep, you that's need reason to check, you check it. it. You would think so that would seem like it was in. Ah, there it went. Went some more. Oh, yeah. okay. Went in another clip. And, and that we, one wasn't though, as... Even though we thought it was in. Yeah, yep. Guarantee most... It's still not. We're still right at 7 eighths. So let's see. See if it'll go any further. Ah! Yeah. Wow. Now a little, little bit further. Clicking. Wow. All right. So let's measure it one more time. Very interesting. Ah! Now we're just a little bit over an inch. 
just not even quite at a sixteenth over an inch. We're perfect. We're right in. We're a little beyond an eighth. We're not quite three sixteenths. That's absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. We won't need any washers or anything between the torque converter. Uh. So we're going to go ahead and put the body mounts on. For the body mounts for the motor, we're going to be using these dirty dingo mounts that go directly to the block with a body mount directly from the auto parts store. So a brand new body mount, dirty dingo engine mount, mount it to the engine, mount it to the frame. This side's already done. You see, dirty dingo's got their name cut in it real cool. We're also marked passenger and driver. Yep. So you can see. This side's marked D for driver, and it shows arrow to the front, P for passenger. We're going to leave it loose so when we go to mount it up to the engine or the chassis, even though it's not overly tight in there. We're going to get the passenger side. Actually, that is fine. It's upside down, mm -hmm. flipping around. Yeah, yeah, line up. There's two holes up there does not line up. Yeah. So these holes don't line up if it's upside down. Right side up. They line up solid. And those are just factory 79, 79 oh, yeah. block Chevy from the dealership. So this is going to be to the top. So the other side should also have the cut at the bottom. Yeah. Spinning. Can you see the can you see that on video at all? The hole the big hole in the bottom. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can, can see, see the converter. Yeah, see at the bottom too. Yeah, yeah. you can see the converter. Come on this side. Oh wait. There you are. See it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can sure even that, see your finger in there. Make oh, sure yeah. that'll turn yeah. freely without with it bolted up tight. Torque converter bolts. In there. And this was already spun correctly. Should be. You look yeah. at that hole. It's got that oval shaped yep, hole there. Yep, it does. Yeah, so now you line that bolt up, tighten it, and then you only have to turn it. Yeah. 120 degrees twice. All right. Your torque wrench. And we have it set. to hold it? Maybe? Or will it? Yes, hold it, please. I'm not sure if I'm holding the right direction. Let's find, find out. 30 pounds. So it says, yep. You ready? 30 pounds. All right. Now we want to turn it. 120 degrees. One. See the hole yet? Yep. Right there? Right there. That hole line up. You go? You get mm -hmm. it? Okay. Alright, how much more? Um, one more. A little bit more. Boom, right there. Right. transmission mounted up to the Summit Racing 5.3 4L60 uh, from TCI Rusty. We really appreciate the help. Project Rocky, one more step. Yeah.